I'm an artist, photographer, and pretty much your creative everything. Um, you can reach me on my Instagram at Raisa Artista, two A's at the end, or Write Art Photography, or Write Art SSA for my art page. There, everything's in the bio. And I just wrapped up an interview with Stuck in the Middle. It was nice to be here. It was nice to have fun and be on set. And thank you so much for watching. Welcome back, everybody. This is your girl, Tutu, and I'm bringing you guys another episode of Stuck in the Middle Artist Spotlight Edition, where I use this platform to showcase all of my creatives, whether you're a singer, you're a rapper, you're a dancer, you're a stripper, that I'm still looking for. So if you're a stripper, <laughs> come on. Like, I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> so, like, come on. This platform is just to highlight and showcase all of my creatives. If you're passionate about what you do, make sure you holler at me. Leave some comments below. Let us know what you want to do. I have a very, very dope guest in the building. Actually, y'all, we have a very packed room today <laughs> we have had a lot of interviews but before i get to my guests if you guys are new welcome 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 make sure you hit that subscribe button on our youtube also follow us on all of our social media platforms sitm podcast and make sure that you hit the like button comment what you want to see also check out our um website sitmpodcast.com where you can check out our latest merchandise see um upcoming guests that we have coming up and um current guest that we also had as well so shout out to the team everybody's in here we got ak holding it down we got mine here we got Valen. we got um i don't want to mess some names but we got friends in here we got <laughs> mina in here and we have our guest we have our guest raisa in the building yes, that's that it right you said, perfect don't so don't have me second guest new yes <laughs> all right so we have raisa in the building yes she is an artist I'm not going to do too much introduction for you. You were going to address <laughs> yourself, so that's that. But welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice. Stuck in the middle. Thank you, thank you. How you feeling today? Happy Saturday. <sighs> Happy Saturday. I'm just kind of like, uh, it's the weekend. I'm trying to like decompress, trying to go out, have fun, okay, show some skin. Okay, you looking like you about to be on the street. I'm about to shake some gosh. Come on. Ooh, <laughs> no. She said she's about to shake some. <laughs> I like it, I like No, it. afterward, after. after. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's just, de like, you know, just jump into it. So tell us about Rice. Like, who are you? What do you do? The whole nine yards the back um Raisa Raisa is everybody like Raisa is everything like anything that you can think Raisa is that person she's an artist photographer videographer editor writers pianist like whatever you think Raisa can be she's probably either done it tried it or currently is doing it so Ooh. like I'm just like a multifaceted person so I like that I'm not trying right. to brag or nothing but you know. <laughs> <laughs> not trying to my own come home. on now <laughs> yes ma'am yes ma'am come yeah, on now so. alright so background wise like where you're from you're from the DMV you, what you, like, oh, what, is god. You, what is you girl oh god now you're gonna put me on okay uh -oh. okay I'm originally from Cameroon born and raised oh. 237 okay, okay, okay. Uh, but I'm not the whisper this part I'm from Virginia Virginia. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she says she's from Virginia. Yeah, don't say that out loud. <laughs> I'm from the VA. Okay. No, I'm from Virginia. I moved here um, like right before COVID, and I was like, oh my God, I'm about to new life. Oh, so new job. Kinda, this is like kind of new. Mm -mm, and COVID hit, and I was stuck in the house for two really? years. Really? Yep. So yeah. like you, so I guess you could say you're kind of new to the area. I, yeah, yeah, I'm still new because like with the right. shutdown and every, I couldn't go anywhere. I was home like oh, 99 point nine percent. Yeah, so I'm still new, even though it's been like two years. Well, welcome, but, welcome. You thank ain't you. that new because you about to be outside. I don't have a choice. Like I'm being dragged. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what's up. Okay, all right. You have any any siblings? Oh any? God. <sighs> Unfortunately, I have a twin. Oh, not unfortunately. All right. No, now. no. <laughs> I have a twin that I forget about. Even though we're twins, like oh. I forget that it's their birthday because it's all about me. Like I'm the conceited twin, so okay, I forget twin. that. It's, yeah. Shout out to you, twin. Yeah. Sometimes. It's a, sometimes. It's a fraternal. fraternal? Yeah. Frater like brother. Young, young brother. Oh, brother. brother. Yeah. And okay. then um, little brother, older sister, and then you know, being Africans, you have like people in between that aren't blood, but they're blood for papers. <laughs> So like, <laughs> they're your they're your siblings for paper purposes. So, right. You know, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I got you. I got you. That, okay. Yeah. All right. That's dope. Yeah. So let's get right into it. What inspires you? What is art? Please let me know what art is. Because if I tell you what my definition of art is, <laughs> I'm about to tell you it's a piece of paper, and you either draw with some paint or something. Art. I don't know. Art to me, actually, that's not even wrong either. Because I saw, I feel like some <laughs> art is sometimes, but like art to me is just like any and everything. Like it's not you're not limited to like one way of describing what art is art could be a plethora of things so to me art is what i feel in the moment that to me is art mm. so you i gotta be in the moment to actually produce art that's why i have to feel it too okay because yeah. i'm glad you said that because i was about to jump into the next question the next question was how do you 
like get inspired by the things that you do. Oh, I like, don't. I do not at all. Mm-mm. So Mm-mm. How I'm you one of them lazy artists. <laughs> it takes me like months to figure out something. I have to. I literally have to feel it. There's times where I completely forget that I know how to draw or paint because I don't do it for like two, three years. Oh, that's so wild. yeah. The only reason, and I mean only reason, why I got back into like art or for like art and stuff is because of COVID. So I, I was home, I had nothing to do, and I was like, oh shit, I know how to paint. And then I was just like, okay. So I started painting, <laughs> and I put a, I made a story, uh, like a story about it, and I got like so many views, and people were like, oh, draw this, draw that. And I'm like, oh shoot, now I really have to like do it. But yeah, like that's, that's kind of what like. You kind of yeah. like, I like you for real, for real. <laughs> I like you, because I'm the same way yeah. when it comes to having like crafts and stuff like yeah. that. Like I got a YouTube, actually the last time I touched that YouTube, but Same. I be remembering that about YouTube. You know what's crazy? Same. So it's like, oh, so I get what yeah. you're saying. So Same. what is your favorite, what is like your favorite time of day to create? Oh, like 2, 3, 4, 5 a.m. You don't sleep. I don't, I don't sleep. So what do you be doing during the day? Sleeping. <laughs> I don't sleep. <laughs> I sleep during the day and then at night I'm like wide awake. There's nobody's up, no distractions, no people to cuss out or anything like that. Like, it's just literally like. No one is up. You don't really have a lot of distraction from, like, the world. The world is asleep, pretty right, much. So right. then you can just be yourself. So you're just in your own, like, Yeah, I'm bubble. just in my own bubble. Mm. This is so music. So, like, describe your, or illustrate your, your zen, your peace. Like, you know, when you're, like, doing, you have music blasting. Oh, yeah, like, absolutely. Even though my neighbors can be a little, you know, apartment living. But, yeah. you know, I have my music, you know, just have a little a drink here and then. Not, not, not really alcohol, because I'm lightweight. I don't want to, sorry painting i don't know what but like uh i just have like you know maybe some juice rare times i'll probably have some wine but you know it's very quiet it's just me alone in my element so i'm just like i'm just there right and i just feel whatever i want to feel and then i just draw it okay yeah all right or paint it. i have a question why are your commissions closed it was on Ooh, your Instagram page, girl. Yeah, you thought I was you thought I was watching that question. I seen that on your Instagram. Oh, and gosh. why are your commissions closed? It's closed because I'm a very particular person when it comes to art. Okay. So like I don't like people saying, Oh, draw this for me and then they give me like like a list of how it's supposed to look. Okay. Like if you're gonna ask me to do something for you, I want you to trust my creative direction and just let me wing it let me freestyle because that's how i do every single piece i never plan it it just like whatever happens happens like if it takes a drastic turn from what i started it is what it is like, that's what you don't get so okay that's why i don't do commissions so you really like, can't take orders from africans because you know africans be doing girl, too i'm the one giving the orders what are you saying because uh, <laughs> you know africans what? be like i want to draw this draw that draw this and stuff like I that i said auntie there's money please i'm ah, wrong <laughs> <laughs> no but like it okay. depends it depends all right do you think art is important to society yeah of course why that's it that's it. Next question. I'm kidding. Oh, no, 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 I'm kidding. Oh, no, I'm, oh. Kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> like, when you think of, like, the Renaissance and, like, um, like important time periods, there's always some form of, like, art that's being created because of that time period. Like, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of one that's, like, uh, what's the question again? Sorry, my brain just got <laughs> My brain just Do you like, think art is important to society? It is important to society. Um especially from the like from the viewpoint of like black people like black artists black creators you don't really see a lot of black things out there right like mm-hmm. if you have to go on youtube or you have to go on like pinterest or google or whatever if you're typing something that you want you got to type black after right so that's the same way i kind of look at art like art should be important to society because like black people were part of society but i don't want every piece of art that i look at to just be white people and just anybody that's not me so that's why like for me personally i exclusively create black content so that way like other people can look at it and be like oh shit that's me like, you know <laughs> she's my french man no you're good you're good but yeah good. i think it is in, 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 ooh, snap. i think it is important to society society because people can look at the art and see themselves in it and i feel like that's dope what other no. way to contribute to society than that you know that's a word. She didn't tell y'all. Girl, I made it word. on the spot. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like, All right, you know how to fight? Uh, what are we fight with words? <laughs> like, what are we fighting with? Just asking. I mean, like, you know how to fight? I am a very like trouble-free person, drama-free. I really? stay in my little bubble. Like, believe, despite the energy, bro, I will be. I'm home sleep ninety nine point nine times. I would so. think that you like if somebody was to bring something to you, you like knock them out. No, really? no. I'm, first of all, I'm so tiny. I will be not. Nah, 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 nah. Don't let yeah. the size fool you, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. Listen, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who are your biggest artistic influencers? I don't really have any. Really? It's literally, I kid you not, art is just one of them hobbies that I just 
having to pick up in my brain. I'm like, oh, cool. Like, I can rock with it. But so like, it was a hobby or is it a passion? It's a hobby that generates income. Okay. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I wouldn't dig that. I wouldn't consider it a passion. I feel like my passion is just something I'm not doing right now because I need to be, like, in the mindset, the mental mindset to do it. What would you like to do? Photography. Mm. Yeah. Like, if I had to marry, like, some rich sugar daddy, and he's like, hey, you don't have to walk ever again. And I'm like, oh, snap. Like, what am I going to do besides being arm candy? And I would do photography. So why did you, why did you like, what? why is that? Why do you want to do photography? What is because it about there's, it? Because there's more creativity in photography than, um, than art. Actually, is there? I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> but to me, personally, I feel like I have more creativity. I feel like when people commission me to do, like, photography or, like, pay, do, ask me to do photos, they allow me to be more flexible in terms of what I produce. Versus art is like, I want this, this, and this. And if you don't do art right, they're going to know it's not right. Okay. But if I'm doing photography and something's not right, girl, I edit it, Photoshop it, cut it, duplicate it, whatever I do. Yo. I will hide the mistakes. But you won't even be able to tell. So that's the that's what I like about art. I feel like with art, not art, sorry. That's what I like about photography. And my style of photography is actually a mixture of art and photography. So I just combine the both and just rock with it. Okay. Yeah. What are five things that people don't know about you? Oh, God, five. <laughs> <laughs> it's the laugh for me. <laughs> Woo, it's like, no. <laughs> uh, well, five things. Um... That's a great... I don't even know five things about them. Okay. Let me think. Okay, let's do three then. Okay, good. Okay, so for one, I am... Oh, I, I used to do YouTube. Okay. Like, heavy. Like, so what happened heavy, to heavy. that? Oh, I just got lazy. Girl, I was like, look, nobody's watching this. It takes me, like, what, 10 hours to edit this? So now I just make it for myself. And like, if someone just happens to stumble on it and watch it, yeah, you're going to get all this crackheadery and BS. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um... I used to run track when I was in high school and I thought that I would get like a scholarship mm -hmm. and I would go to school for track and run track. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't happen. You yeah, went to no. high school out here. Yeah. 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 In Europe. Virginia. Why you gotta, why you gotta, I was just, I was just, you, um, you my couldn't bad. let people just figure it out on Never there. mind. Sorry. Go ahead, girl. Yeah. And then, um, what else? Um, I think I kind of briefly mentioned it, but I, play uh the piano mm -hmm. i taught myself actually mm. that's another one of those things how long does that take i don't know i just remember like middle school i would come home every day and just play the piano but i could only play with one hand so i'd be like pressing buttons like this and the next thing you know i was able to play with two hands and i'm like oh shit look at that so i just like <laughs> auditioned for the talent show and they were like i don't know i just I that's just how it did be. It. No, that's how it yeah. be. So, being African, especially as a Cameroonian, ugh. do you feel like not the oh no? Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh, continue, continue, <laughs> Lord. But being a Cameroonian, do you feel like it's hard, especially you as a woman? Do you feel like it's hard for you to at least get your foot in the door to do just be in the art industry and things like that? Do you feel like compared to other men or things like that? Yes and no. It depends on what type of art you're doing okay. so if it's like drawing art painting no one really cares like you know you think people don't draw no more i don't know i mean like i know paint? i don't <laughs> i did it before like two years ago but i don't know i i don't know i haven't even like looked to see like the numbers like who draws right. and who paints i don't so what know about photography photographer photography that i think is one uh place where being like a Cameroonian woman or African woman in general being in that field that area is very very intimidating and a lot of people don't take you seriously and they don't credit you either when you're good so like mm. one I would get like backhanded shady compliments whenever I would go to like family uh, functions and they'd be like oh 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 you did well you did nice and I take a picture and they're like oh your camera is nice so your camera I'm like bro it's, the, it's me they're like they keep asking me like, oh where did you get your camera from and i'm like bro it's not the camera like it's right. the person behind it you, you and i could have both hold the same camera and take different things so they never want to give you credit for how good you are they want to compliment your, the, your yeah your, yeah okay. your object your, your camera so i'm just like and then the worst part i, I know if you were done but, no go ahead oh yeah the worst part is like 
um, I had to do photography back home and I went um, like a couple years ago back in Cameroon and it was just so like no one really respected what you were doing because you were just a woman that was just walking around with a camera they right. didn't really care or they would tell me to get out of the way or they would like kind of just say some like shady stuff but me being me and having the dad that I have I do not give a damn <laughs> my dad did not give a damn he said show them show them pepper I'm like god damn dad relax Aww. but yeah my dad has always been like there rooting for me no matter what I did he would always support it I'm as, as long as I don't make it a career. That's I mean. Okay, so I was, I'm glad that you brought that up because that was going to like piggyback into my next question. So, you know, us Africans, like our parents, they always want you to be, you have to be a doctor, lawyer, engineer. Or engineer. You have to yeah. be like yeah. one of those things and stuff yeah. like that. So even though you said it's not a career or anything like that, how did your parents feel when you told them like, hey, this is what I want to do or this is what I'm doing, things like that? Oh, no, after a while, like... After a while, when your parents actually take the time to learn and understand you, that's when I feel like you're able to have these conversations. But if you don't, if your parents don't know you and you don't know your parents, you're not gonna have a conversation that's really like fruitful. Right. So I feel like my parents had to know me in order to understand that if I ever wanted to pursue a career in like the creative field, they would be okay with it because they know like you know what, regardless of what I do or what avenue i want to pursue they know that if i put my whole heart my head in it everything i'm going to be successful in it right so they don't really care too much they just they just are looking out for you that's why they you know doctor lawyer engineer <laughs> art on the side right that's photography so on the side <laughs> do it on the side until you can make money and then and then you can claim it that's how they, that's how they income. take it yep, yeah that's so true so let's talk about finances for a second because i remember um in one of the questions you talked about like income bringing an in income and stuff like that so how are you able to fund what you do like or getting the things that you do in order to continue trip no i'm just kidding your face <laughs> i was gonna say hey if you're a no, stripper no, no, girl just... we could have a whole other spot uh, no, 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 no. i know right i don't judge <laughs> no no no. i just i just i just do it okay? i feel like painting i go paint and then if someone happens to want to buy it then hey buy artwork like so how does somebody inquire to buy your stuff I just post online. Like mm. social media is such an interesting like but how marketing can you buy tool. If you're talking about your commissions is close. Ah, you can buy other things. I bet. Like, <laughs> you don't gotta buy a commission. Do you have stuff right now that's for sale? No, not yet, not yet. But I am working on like a huge like catalog of things that I need to produce for like an art show actually. Mm -hmm. Which I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it. But yeah, I have an art show in two months, and I have to create like new stuff to display and sell at the show. So. Oh, that's lit! I want to invite to the art show. I mean, my guess. Uh, I, just, I, I honestly could send you. No, it's this thing called, uh, what is it called? Um, some, what is it called? Uh, my brain, my brain is, it's called like, uh, the black girl, black girl art show. That's what it's called. So okay. it's a bunch of, um, black women around the area that all are in this Creative. show in DC mm -hmm. and then they sell their art, promote their art, whatever it is that you can do at the show, they do it there. Gotcha. But yeah, it was fun when I went, it was really fun. Live music. It was just like everybody. So I liked it. Okay. What are your pet peeves when it comes to art? So whether it be photography or it be painting, like what are your pet peeves? That's like a no. Where's my scroll? Cause I got, uh -oh. a, I got like it's a long list. Me. <laughs> I got like a long list of pet peeves. Well, for one, like if it's photography, mm -hmm. I am like very like, I'm I'm very particular. Uh, specific about how i like my photograph my photos to look okay so i'm like very adamant about oh come around this certain time frame wear these colors because like i have a look that i like mm, and I, okay. I need something that i'm able to manipulate if i need to like if i'm editing after if it doesn't look right so i okay. need you to wear certain things but i hate when i'm like st stuck on time like i'm at a time crunch and people are out here like on their phones like taking selfies and stuff and i'm like girl put your phone away we got Tom we got shit to shoot yeah. like yeah so it's one of those and then it's just like people that just don't respect time and then my That's other depends for you yeah <laughs> That's why I don't shoot them. i'm kidding now no, no, no. not shoot anybody but my other thing i think with art is when people expect you to be done at a certain time like it takes time life happens and this is not my my nine to five so like i literally will put it on the back burner and forget it even like exists right so with art it's like if I'm doing a, that's another reason I don't do commissions. If I'm doing a commission and someone's like, "Oh, I need it in two weeks," I'm like, "Girl, I'm not even in. I'm in Texas. Like, you gonna have to yeah. wait till I get back. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait till I get back." Right. And then it's like I feel really bad because like you know people are paying me to do something at a certain time. Right. And, then... and it's just like with the way my life is and the fact that this is not really this is literally just a hobby. I may not prioritize it then, so it just makes a, like I just for, for all that I rather just not do commissions. If you need me. 
you hit me up, give me as much time as I need, and I will produce to you whatever the best I can produce. But if I'm on a time crunch, I, I don't know what you're going to so get. So basically, if I hit you up and be like, I need this done, I'm going to just wait to get it in six months. No, no, no. I, I mean, we got to be realistic. Because at the same time, <laughs> it's still like a business. And, you know, someone's actually paying you their hard-earned money. So right. you have to have, like, a reasonable time frame. So whenever I, like, someone commissions me and they're like, oh, I need it by the 31st, I'm like, it takes me about, like, two weeks to a month. So, like, if you're flexible with that time frame, then I can produce something then obviously if you give me like a specific date i'll try to do it within that date but if i do have a little bit of flexibility i feel like it'll be a lot better okay so what is your style of photography and um painting painting um i don't have a style for either okay. supposedly i think i don't have a style but other people think i have a style so when it comes to like uh art painting apparently i do a lot of faces and a lot of my painting is sad for some reason i don't know i'm not sad <laughs> <laughs> or am, I don't know. But like this lady at the art show, she was like, Oh, you got a theme going on. You got a theme going on. I'm like, what are you talking about? She was like, Yeah, it's a lot of sadness. And I'm like, Yeah, yeah. Sadness. Yeah, yeah. That's still, right. I don't know. I just okay, it works, it works. But I got do a lot of faces. Like I love faces. Okay. And that's the reason why I love photography. I love faces. Like anything with a face, I love it. So I like to paint faces, I like to take pictures of faces. And, gotcha. Yeah. So it'll be the same thing for photography as well too. Yes, -ish. okay. But photography, obviously, I like faces. I prefer to shoot black women because what's not beautiful? And uh, anyways, besides that, um, I like bright colors. Like I don't like shooting like I like nature. I like colors. I like water. I don't okay. like shooting like buildings in buildings. I don't like events. Lord, she got a whole list of what she don't list. like. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you look at my photography page and then you see, like, there's a theme, then try to do that. Like, try to... Gotcha. Yeah, if you're going to book you. me. Yeah. Okay. What are some things that people seem to misunderstand about you? Hmm. Everything. Honestly, I'm just a misunderstood person. I don't know. Really? Why do you think so? I just have. My whole life just been so mis- you Oh, think God. It's about to get like, real you're deep. You're very outspoken. This I is a therapy actually, session, okay? Know, right? This is therapy. I'm your Tears therapist, Tears are about to girl. start flowing. Like, wait. Girl, I got what the tissues you. What the tissues for you. Like, um, I'm very misunderstood. Like, I, I guess I'm very... I'm seen as very aggressive. Like, the way I speak sometimes. Like, I'm very, like, domineering. I can be very, like, combative. You but, know, like... You just don't take no shit. That's what I... That's what people think. But, honestly, I'm, like, the softest person. I'm a softball. I don't like confrontation. Like... To my oh, own detriment. Never mind that. I, yeah, I, like, <laughs> I don't like confrontation. I don't like to fight. I don't like to argue. Like, oh my god. Like, I don't like none of that stuff. But I just like to be in my little corner. You know, be bothered when I'm bothered. But then, at the same time, at the same time, if I do go out, I'm shaking ass. I don't care who's around, what's around. I don't care. I'm, yeah. And she said what she said. Yeah. But <laughs> to add on to that. I'm also not shy, despite the fact that I might be quiet. I'm not a shy person. Got you. So you, can, so you can tell. Okay, all right, I get you. So how do you stay true to yourself? How do you, even though I, you keep saying this ain't your passion, this is a hobby, <laughs> but this is something that you love to do. Yeah, I do. So do how do you stay true to yourself? Like, because I know we spoke about how sometimes you be lazy. Sometimes you just be like, mm, damn, I'm like you know, that's how you feel. Girl, like that. <laughs> I've been remembering, but like when you. We're talking about like sometimes you be like remember like oh shit I can do this things like that how do you keep yourself motivated um that's a great question I feel like I just live life like you just gotta live life that's your motivation because things happen in life that makes you want to act out create destroy make build, like whatever the case is life is what like just motivates me like if I went through a breakup I did a horrible piece like an art piece mm -hmm. because of it but now like I'm in a healthy mental mindset like all of my art now is more is is going to be more peaceful. Like when you look at it, it's not like oh you got a theme going on sadness. No, right. it's going to be more uplifting. Like I stay motivated by just like you know living your life, dude. Like that sounds kind of like oh that sucks, boring. <laughs> but like honestly, like that's, I'm not one of those people like that have like meaning to their artwork. I just draw because I want to draw. Like if I want to paint, I want to paint because I want to paint. So okay. sometimes there may not be meaning behind it besides just like, yo, it's another day. I have nothing to do, so let me paint. So it's just like living life. You know? All right. You single, you're in a relationship. I am very taken. Ooh. Very, very taken. 
Never mind. I don't even should ask me this like six months ago. Like. <laughs> y'all can't sign to her DM. She got a man, and that's that. Okay. Yeah. What advice would you give people that are trying to get into the art industry, the creative field, things like that? Just do just it. They don't know. Just do it. Nike it. Do it. Just do it, man. PC does more than just do it because no, like, just, just do, do it. 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 It doesn't matter what anybody says. What anybody thinks. Just do it. Just do it and continuously keep doing it because you're gonna find your. You're gonna find yourself. You're gonna find your style. Even now, I'm in it. I'm doing it, and I still don't know what. My style is I just keep doing what I want to do. Right. You just keep doing it until you're happy. I know that's right. And, you know, you're I- willing to learn, willing to take criticism, willing to take feedback, and you got to be okay putting yourself out there. Because a lot of people don't want to do stuff because they don't put the, they don't want to put themselves out there. But mm-hmm. you gotta do it. Okay. So when I was looking through your bio, right, it said. I think it said Dallas, Texas. Oh yeah. I'm so always, you do you go back and forth? Do like, you live almost every other month? Yeah. Like I was just there like last week. So you live there? No, and not then you yet. live here. No. Or you're planning to move over there? My yeah. bad if I'm exposing your business. No, I was no, no. Just it's not to... even that. Like I, I don't even know. Like I'm here, and uh-huh. then I'm also in Texas. Like if I'm not here, I'm in Texas. How if I'm not end? in Texas, I'm here. What do you feel like? Do you feel like the creative scene out there is? Is oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm always in the house. <laughs> I feel Ma'am. like, okay, here's the thing. If I do move to Texas, I would be moving because I feel like I would have a better market of people, mm. especially photography. I feel like I can reach like my, uh, like the type of people I want to shoot with. Gotcha, I feel like I can okay. reach them in Texas or just in a place that's like city based. As opposed like, to that's life here. Yeah. Virginia. But well, yes, maybe yeah. th- maybe because you just need to like get out and be in DC and Maryland and not to, Virginia. I feel like I feel like I, if I do go out more, I feel like I'll be yeah. able to get more exposure and for learn sure. And, yeah, but like no, be me. I'm in the house, wait. See, that's like you just gotta mingle. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's what I'm doing after this. Like, <laughs> but yeah, like I don't mind putting myself out there in order to meet people, in order to create with people, in right. order to like gain exposure. Which is why when you were like, oh yeah, come on the show, I was like, hell yeah, girl, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> Yeah, any opportunity that comes your way, take it, you know? Well, I appreciate you for coming on here. Yeah, I appreciate you for get, having me and stalking nope. me. And, you know, so. no. <laughs> I did follow up on my word, though. Remember, I followed up because you was like, don't forget. And I said, I'm not going to forget you. Yeah. So I did follow up. I forgot. It was, it was, see, here you Shoot. go. All right, so why do you feel like people should inquire about your services, your artwork, your Because, like I'm letting you just finish. Hold on, finish. No, I'm, I was done. Are you finished? Yes, I'm done. One off fights. I'm sorry. Like no. Go ahead. Um, because I do more than one thing. Like, if you want me to do something for you, actually, I could do, I could do practically anything. Oh, damn, I sound like I super like woman. that. She's I sound confident. like super woman. Yes, like, ma'am, confident. Yeah, yeah. So. Like, honestly, like, you can come to me for photography. You can come to me for artwork. You can come to me for directing. You can come to me for editing. Like, I will edit your photos, videos, whatever the case may be. Write your script. Tell you what you need to edit and fix. And even do your website. Like, whatever it is. Like, you yo, do I, got, I gotta do everything. Wow. <laughs> if y'all, if y'all, she do everything at this point. <laughs> All right, so where can the people find you? See, that's How the, can we get in contact? Because you didn't said that you have four different yeah, pages. Yeah, that's the apart complicated from your personal thing. Page. So the page that I messaged you on, is that your personal page? That's my private. Got, that's my, no. No, that's my art page See, like, exclusively for art okay and then i have a page exclusively for photography then i have a page exclusively for like me outside of like work and then i have a page for like um like my career so know? so what is your career if you don't Girl, mind? i'm doing everything but right now i'm like kind of like in the software field okay i'm currently like a software tester it's kind of boring but you know you make it finances my life okay so, and my art okay so all right so go ahead and plug in don't give me all of them but give ah, them your look. art and your, and your painting one if that's the case then go the ahead the art one i don't even know because i changed the handle so much can you oh, just put it on the screen like, <laughs> we're we gonna drop it down we're gonna drop it down below yeah, yeah i have a lot oh and then i was gonna say i was like no if so, you want to so, 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 first of all first, first, first of all it's like no go ahead. my youtube like i feel like if you see my youtube i guess you'll get more of my personality okay i feel like i'm actually being more reserved like very very reserved than i actually am like in like i'm in person like when i'm making videos like i'm very like out there and as for like having a style i feel like my videos have more style than my artwork or my photography so okay that's where what I do you talk about in your t- in your youtube videos i talk about anything and everything like okay. i literally make up my life so here's the funny thing so in my videos i use my art Mm -hmm. in my videos so like i will like animate it i animate my videos okay so i don't know if that makes sense but yeah like i'm very like anything like 
I plug it in. Like, I'll take my art and put it in my videos. That's dope. And then you'll see it. Like, yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. All right. So, before we wrap this up, I was playing with my guests or whatever. Oh, God. <laughs> and I have options for you. Okay. I could do one former game or we could do a game, but you won't have to draw. Ooh, stick you man. Draw? <laughs> I was hoping he wasn't going to say that. Okay, yeah, sure. so we could do that one, or I feel like people come on here, some people be coming on here, and they be just talking anyhow. They be using big, big words they can't even spell. So I be giving people spelling words, a, spe- Look, a spelling I can't spell for... I'd rather draw. Let's go. No, just because I'm going to give you the spelling words. No, no, no. Like, I'm, I'm going to give you the spelling words. I'm going to give you the spelling words. I'm about to embarrass myself. <laughs> like, I'm about to be embarrassed. Okay, well, you say you're from... You, you say you're from... Virginia. Ugh. But I'm going to give you some DMV slang words. Oh. I'm ooh. pretty sure you've heard of it before. Hopefully. I, I, so I'm going to have you spell them. Why? Okay? Well, can't I just give you the meaning? Be- <laughs> no. You have to spell okay. them and okay. then put it in a sentence for me. Jesus Christ. Okay? It's like a spelling bee. And then after that, I'm going to probably have you draw one thing. Two for one. Okay. Period. All right. All right. All right. You ready? Yes. So the spelling word, this is, these are some DMV slang words. So be ready. First word is both of them. Both, Both of them. them. <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell off the chair. Yeah. Woo! Okay, so low. I was a little too excited <laughs> to get that right. <laughs> right. Both of them. Uh-huh. So yeah. go ahead, spell it. B O F F O M. Both of them. U M O M. Same thing, you know. Tomato, tomato. You was always, you was always there. You was there. Okay. Spelling it the proper way. So it's B O F F U M. Okay. So I need you to use it in a sentence now. Okay, ask me a question. I'm gonna tell. You. Ask me a question. I can ask you. You were supposed to say the sentence. Oh my god! Okay. You gotta use the word both of them in the sentence. All right. Do you want pizza or do you want a hamburger? I want both of them. Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> that was smooth. That was smooth. <laughs> it's like no. That was smooth. Okay, <laughs> good job. All right. The next word is oh, but oh god, you gotta guess the right amount of R's that's in it. It's like at least four R's. At least. Damn! Damn! Girl, well, how you know that? Hey, look, I, I, look, I got multiple personalities. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Okay, so using the sentence. Mm. Give me my money. Oh, <laughs> that's a weak one. Oh Lord, I was over here questioning the occur. <laughs> okay, so you got it right. So this definitely was for four hours. All right. Yeah. The next word is liquor. What? <laughs> what liquor? Like alcoholic beverage. Oh, I like didn't say liquor. liquor. I didn't say liquor. liquor. I, said I feel liquor. like that's L I K K A. Wrong. L I Q U A. I don't know. I, I, I just said there's no Q in it. <laughs> oh my god. Licka. Licka. L I K A. Huh? L I C K A. I don't know. Man. You people are not listening. Look. Yeah, the one that say liquor. Lick. 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 I don't know. Lick. <laughs> How do you spell lick? L I C K A. Licka. A H. U H. I don't know. We'll give you X on this one. It's L I C K A. Same thing. I, said, I already said that. Like, All right. Know. So use that in a sentence. Give me more liquor. Not liquor. Liquor. Uh huh. Good job. Yeah. All right. Oh, I want my liquor. <laughs> right now. Like, <laughs> All right. Next word. Jonin. Jonin. That's making fun of. Like that's roasting. Or you know, <laughs> what you think? I'm from Virginia, but I'm not a country girl. It's like no. <laughs> Jonah. Yeah, Jonah. Oh, J. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> hmm. Jonin. Eh. J O I N. Ah. Uh, <laughs> no, this one said join. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Ah. Uh, it's not Joan. Joan. J O A N. Uh huh. I N. Mm-hmm. Good job using a sentence. I'm trying to use it in a sentence that doesn't involve like vulgar language. Why are you joining on my girl? <laughs> okay, there you go. Why She's you like, no, I'm just let it go. I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> okay. The last word. The last word. Ooh. Okay. You ready? Yeah. The last word is thingamajig. Thingamajig. It's just whatever that thing is. It's just something. Okay. okay. So thingamajig. Oh my god, I gotta okay. T Thang A N G Huh? Thang na. You just thang. said tang. T H A N G. Uh huh. Nama jig. That's it. Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. That's how you spell it, no. 
no ma'am, no ma'am. Look, that's too much. You guys. No ma'am. Yeah, that, that is not fun. At this point, you know what? I ain't never feel nobody on these games, but I'm going to feel you for this game because I don't know what was happening. Fest and last. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what the hell is you talking about? <laughs> Let me be the best. Good job, good job, good job, good job. You're a real one. All right, I'm going to get you to draw one thing. Okay. You have to go and draw. As Stop long as you don't tell me what I got to... Whoa, stuck in the middle. Look, yo. This is one, this one, this is you should give me, like, Mona Lisa or something. Okay, well, they can draw me next. <laughs> hey, 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 let's hey, go. Hey, okay. All right. All right. Okay, so this is the little continent. Ah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Y'all, y'all should see how this... Y'all should see how this... How do you spell it in the middle? <laughs> hey. I have. Uh, uh, and then this is you. We are stuck in the Y'all, middle. look how she drew me. <laughs> Wait, let me put her. Ah. <laughs> you should have asked. <laughs> you should have asked me to draw something else. Like. Woo! What you wanna draw in you here? You need to frame that, eh? When I'm famous, eh? When I'm famous, eh? That's gonna cost. That's gonna pay your mortgage. What continent is this? Like, you know what continent is this? The continent is yes. Yeah, just look at this. It's beautiful. Alright, draw me. Oh man, that's a, that's the last one. That's 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 part of the commission. It's gonna take me like three to five business days. <laughs> Really? Yeah, you gotta pay shipping and handling. Uh uh-uh, uh, mm-hmm. put you right here. No, I gotta handle it to you. You gotta I'm pay for that. This is a, this is a real business woman. This is a real African business woman. I I didn't have to draw, I but right. I did bring you these though. Uh oh. For me. For toi. For say, how you say it in French? <laughs> for toi. For toi. <laughs> Ooh, you got me a gift. Look. Ooh. Yeah. I you put jealous. Yeah. When I get famous, <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it. When I get famous, make uh, sure you sell it for proper money. This it's like, is dope. Uh, thank you. Oh, no, you're welcome. You got her little, little booty cheeks. I know, I'm telling you. I know, you. that's right. Oh, yeah, the theme behind this is like when niggas be wasting your time. That's essentially what this When whole niggas thing. waste your time. When they waste your time. Waste literally time. wasting your time. I, I, that piece is literally called Wasting My Time. Like, okay. Yeah. I know that's right. And this one? Oh, this is the one that the lady was like. I can see something. There's darkness. Somebody's been hurt. And I was like, bro, for real? Because I was just playing around with facial expressions. But it do look like somebody like No, it is crying. It is crying. But like the reason why I painted that was because I didn't know how to paint like other facial expressions besides seriousness. Um. So I was like, oh, let me play around with tears and like sadness. And then the lady was like, you've been hurt. I was like, yeah. Yeah, I've been hurt. She was like... Come has, on, talk to so, me after this. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so has has like one of like a relationship or a heartbreak has has it ever expired like inspired you? Oh yeah, absolutely. Really? Yeah. You, when you paint, you be like, these niggas not shit at all. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm, I know we're almost done. I'm just gonna give you the last thing. Go ahead. So like, there was this piece that I did. Um. Okay. So I used to like literally beg my ex to buy me roses. Like, literally beg. I was on my hands on knees begging. And I was like, hey, yo, can you buy me roses? And he was like, oh, sure, I guess. So he bought me the roses. African, African, of course. Nigerian. Mm. I'm about to start a war in your comments. <laughs> but anyway, so he finally bought me roses, blah, blah, blah. The roses died. And for some reason, I just kept the petals, the dried up petals. And so I used it to create a piece of, like, how, like, effed up or how hurt I was after. But I used the roses that he gave me. I felt like that was, like, a slap in the face to him. For me artistically does, does, artistically like, oh hell no he don't even get shit I, i'm glad <laughs> you don't need to be worried about me Aww. but then now like my new significant other i don't like the word but like my new significant other he mm-hmm. buys me rules all the time Aww. so like i have a new piece that i'm gonna create but it's like a better version it's like a part two of the of the of the one yeah oh, but like much nicer much, oh, much like sweeter that. yeah he don't know yet he want to watch this and be like oh y'all planning things <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so dope so do you have any last things you want to tell the guests the audience what you want to say girl last remarks like, nah. <laughs> they're like why she look at us like that <laughs> um i don't know man just yeah, you know, it's good to be here. It's good to be um, in Maryland, the DMV. 
right, yeah. now you, right now you in the M. <laughs> you in the M right Look, now. Like, I claim everything. <laughs> DM, V. I'm about to go to the D. I'm from the M. And I used to live from the V. I don't know. Just edit. Just, just cut it out. Just cut it out. Just edit that out. Just edit that out. <laughs> That's dope. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you for coming on here and talking to us. Like, this has definitely been... See, you match my energy. Come on. I told you. On, That's going to be $50. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> see, 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 see why you can't do this with my African. Oh, Africa's got see? a barter for this. Africa's always got to want to negotiate with somebody. But now you appreciate it. If that's the case, girl, then I'm going to charge you to be on this podcast. So what's up? Look. Look. See, now you get quiet. artwork. <laughs> like, yeah. You got your artwork. Ah, come on. That's true. That's true. That's true. So definitely, you guys, um, go check out her Instagram page. It will be down below because she does not remember it. But <laughs> I just changed the handle. Check that's it out. Why. Check it out. She is dope. Um, Raisa. Yes. I got it right, because I be wanting to call you Raisa. But it's okay. What's your actual African name? Raisa. Okay. Yeah, my parents were slick. You know how people be having, like, the... Okombe. <laughs> no, no, no. My name is Raisa. <laughs> I'm not nothing crazy. Okay. All right, all right. Well, thank you once again. I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. Many, many more blessings and everything that oh, you yeah. touch. Mm-hmm. And you only going up for here and take this stuff seriously. Continue. Keep take blessing me. Seriously. Amen. In Jesus' name, you will get Amen. up Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are watching this for the first time, shout out to you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button, which I believe is down here. Um, <laughs> you <laughs> make sure you check know. us out on all social media platforms, SITM Podcast, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the whole shabam. Make sure you also check out our um, website, sitmpodcast.com. And you can get our latest merch. And you can also see what upcoming guests we have and see our prior guests as well before. Guys, this is a wrap for the day. We are done with our interviews. Today has been a very productive day. Shout out to all the guests that was on set. Thank you to the people that's in the audience. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the team. Thank you, AK, for holding it down. Thank you, Ma. Shout out to Choo Choo. Shout out to Reflex. Shout out to Charles. A cheery. Shout out to the girls sitting over here. And <laughs> this is Tutu, and I am done. Goodbye. Stuck in the Middle. This is your girl, Adele Clarice. Shout out to Stuck in the Middle podcast. We love you guys. General, I feel like I'm stuck in the middle. Stuck in the Middle podcast. Big shout out to the family. I'm talking Reflex, aka Chewy, and the rest of the gang. Hey, make sure you bring all your important information, your art, everything. In the DMV, it doesn't matter where you are, come to the DMV to Stuck in the Middle podcast. That's where it's happening.